All right, what's going on? I'm uh, still in hibernation. <laughs> it's cold here. We still got snow on the ground, a few more weeks of winter, but pretty soon we will be back into the hustle and uh, the regular programming will resume, if you will. <laughs> but uh, last night I got a text message from a buddy out in Houston doing the soft wash stuff and we just started chatting and he was just kind of venting about uh, we happen to just mention that it seems like everyone out there on YouTube is, uh, you know, you're trying to sell something. They're trying to sell you something they're trying to get you. And it just made me think, um, you know, I, I'm just going to share my opinion here. If you want to listen to it, be my guest. But all it is at the end of the day is my opinion. That opinion is, is that we, you... Uh, we're all prey, right? These guys are preying on you because they know you're new to the industry. They know that your wheels are spinning. You want to get up and going. And uh, they're hustling you. They, it's, they're hustling you. <laughs> they're all selling you stuff you don't need, right? And again, I'm not knocking them for doing it, right? They're out there to make, they're out there to make money. But there, there is something, you know, if, you, if you're out there giving a house wash, let's just say, and that house is dirty, and at the end of the day the house is clean and you charge for it, you're getting paid for that value, right? A lot of the stuff that's being thrown at you online is garbage, right? Just my opinion, I'm gonna be the one to say it. All these courses, man, about how to wash a house, there's tons of house wash videos out there for free. You can go to my channel. You can go to the other 100 channels out there. You can find all that stuff. How to wash a roof, how to talk to clients, how to quote. None of these guys have secrets, but what they do have is $1,000 courses and all kinds of stuff. And when you click on that course that they most likely didn't sit down and make, they had someone else do it for them, fiber.com or some sort of course thing. Um, they're just trying to increase their own revenue, right? That's fine, we're all in business. The point of this video is to just, I wanna tell you guys that you need to just look through the smoke sometimes. And we are getting into, uh, we wanna be business owners. We wanna find consumers to pay us for our services and then we wanna take that money and we wanna put it in our pocket for revenue, or I'm sorry, for, uh, for profit. When you go out and you spend all day long washing these buildings and busting your gut, and then you go home and you find out that someone's got a new product and they're trying to sell you, they're trying to sell you, they're trying to sell you, and then all of a sudden your hard earned money is going into their automated little system for, for their revenue, right? So if you think about it this way, we're all out trying to make $1,000 a day, $5,000 a week, $20,000 a month. If you're not doing it, it is attainable. You can get there. But let's say you pay yourself $5,000 a month, maybe another $5,000 worth of expenses. There's $10,000 left over. If you go out and you're buying surfactant that you don't need, that smells real cute, and uh, uh, Quoting, uh, quoting pamphlets and courses and how to do this and how to get off the truck and how to run your, whatever it is, coaching. If you really need that, then that's one thing. But if they are just making you think that you need it, then you need to start figuring that out because that $10,000 is very quickly gonna turn into 8,000 to 4,000 to 2,000 and then all your hard earned profit is now going to someone else for selling you smoke and mirrors that you don't need. If you want to learn how to uh, how to be a better quoter, how to do better washing, I can 100% tell you it's out there for free. Take an extra hour out of your day from watching football or something and find it online. Everything is on there for free, right? So you think that Elon Musk is out there with SpaceX and Tesla and he's going to Ford and other whoever his competitors are and he's buying what they're doing. He's looking at what they're doing and then he's figuring out how to do it himself, how to manufacture it himself for cheaper, right? If you see someone out there selling a, uh, a uh, an electric ball valve for the proportioner for $3,000, well, I'm telling you right now that I just bought my own online for less than 200, right? Uh, 
Do you think that Apple is looking at their competitors? Do you think they're looking at Samsung and stuff and buying the stuff that Samsung is using and their methods? No, they're uh, building their own. They're doing whatever it takes to get that same process cheaper, more efficiently for themselves. They're not taking their profits and giving it to someone else. That's not how the big guys are doing it. So we shouldn't be doing it either. So again, that's just my opinion, but I have over the last year, I, I'm not part of any Facebook groups and I don't follow a single soft wash guy on YouTube. I put out my own soft wash content. If someone wants to watch it and like the video, be my guest, but I'm not also following all these guys out here because you know what happens if you're in a soft wash group or you're watching every single soft wash guy on YouTube, what's gonna happen is you're gonna go out and you're gonna get a six gallon per minute pump and you're gonna pick up a, a YouTube video and some guy's got a seven gallon per minute pump or he's got the AR45, so you go out and buy that seven gallon per minute pump or you go and buy that AR45 and then the eight gallon per minute pump comes out and the AR60 comes out and this guy's downstreaming with an eight gallon per minute, but you have a four gallon per minute, you will never have what everyone else has. And if you go to some of these videos, I've seen them, guys will say, man, I just bought this, but I like that, I'm gonna buy that. And all your hard earned, you're always gonna be chasing what everyone else is doing. And that's the point. They want you chasing what they're doing so they can sell you their product. You don't need it. You do not need it. And on the off chance that you do, then yeah, go and buy it or figure out how you can do it yourself. But what you wanna do is stop being a consumer and stop being a prey and stop being sold to because that's what these guys are doing. The inner circle is, I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm not even gonna say anything else about, about it, but it's just, they're all just selling you a program of something that you don't need. And they're looking for the guys out there that are just itching. They wanna get fast track. They wanna get to the top. I made $150,000 my first year on a skid that I built myself, on marketing that I barely knew what I was doing. And then you, you just kind of move up the ladder. I still am just now getting into CRM system. I've never had a coach. I've never uh, paid for all the different apps and programs uh, and all the marketing consulting that's out there. I've always, you know, I've offered it. If people wanted to have a little help, I would do that for you. Um, and again, like I'm just, I'm just venting here a little bit because uh, it is, it is pretty frustrating when I know that. Um, I know that none of it's needed. And look, these guys, if they want to go out and they want to make money, they want to do their thing, they want to boost their revenue, that's fine. Um, you just need to find out for yourself if it's something that you really need because what's happening is all you guys are, uh, you're leaving your jobs, right? We're all leaving our jobs to start our own business, to make more money, to have more freedom. And all I see, which is one of the reasons that I don't, I'm not a part of any groups or any other channels anymore, is that all I see is them trying to take that money from you. It's all they're doing. The soap that smells good, I've never, I've done over 350 washes. I've never heard one person complain about the smell of bleach. More times than not, they say it smells good. There's always an, a, there's always a, an Olympic swimming pool joke or you know, the bleach smells good thanks to COVID, all that kind of stuff. That's, uh, I, I don't use surfactant. I don't, I've never spent a dime on surfactant. I've never spent a dime on surfactant that smells good. I have found out over the last year what works for me and I work it till it's dead. Everyone always gives me trouble for not doing the, uh, the, the pressure wash and downstream and all that stuff. I don't need it. It's, it's, it's not something that you need. It's something that people want. And if you want it, you think it's gonna benefit you, then go ahead and do it, but don't let them sell you on it as if that's the only thing, right? So that's just it's just my two cents. I know that, um, you know, this is gonna make a few people upset, but I think it's gonna help the majority. Um, every time that you make a hundred bucks, the worst thing you can do is go ahead and spend that 100 bucks. The worst thing you can do is spend 90 of it. The worst thing you can do is spend 70 of it. You wanna take 50 bucks, and you wanna put it in your pocket. And then you got another 50 bucks left, take that 25, put it in your pocket. And with that $25, if you wanna go out and chill and hang out and do what you gotta do, then that's good. But the real rich and wealthy people, the successful business owners, they work with what they have, 
they sit on every penny and they only spend what they have to and that is how you grow wealth it's not by going out and putting your 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 risk you're risking everything you're risking your livelihood you're going up on ladders you're risking your health you don't want to be taking home that money and immediately being told what you what you need to spend it on what you need to do is put it in your pocket and turn off all that stuff if you have a tank and a pump and you're out and you're making money then you don't need anything else when that pump breaks go get a new pump you want to upgrade a better pump get a better pump it's you need to start thinking that way because everyone else on YouTube is bleeding you dry. They're bleeding you dry. Um, every time that, you know, I do come across, you know, some company's got a the new upgraded thing or whatever, the first thing I think about is how can I do this myself? Because I'm not in business to grow their business. Their business, the way I look at it, is their business is either gonna grow my business and keep money in my pocket, or it's not a good business for me, right? And that's how we need to be thinking. So, someone texted me last night. They had a few things to say about it. It wasn't the first time. And uh, usually when I get two or three or four comments on something, I know that it can benefit a lot of other people out there. Um, just had a really nice lunch with uh, another friend. I met him on YouTube. He started his business and uh, we were talking and it's, have you seen this? Have you done that? Have you signed up for this? Have you bought this? Have you done that training? Have you done this course? And every single time he asked me, I said, no, I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. I've never done it. I've never signed up for it. And yet I've still had over six figures both years of my first two years in business. So some people think that buying all this stuff is gonna help you and maybe it will, maybe it won't, but the one thing that it 100% will do is take thousands of dollars out of your pocket. So you better be sure that you need it and you better be sure that you're getting a return off of it. If you go out for a thousand dollar class or you buy a $600 pump, if that $600 pump isn't paying for itself right away, if that thousand dollar course isn't immediately giving you wheels to generate more income, then it is not worth it. It is not worth it. Now this is all gonna be subjective. It's gonna be different on who you are um, and what's going on in your life. But I'm pretty confident that 90% of the things that are being sold to you, you do not need. Just my opinion, hope it helps. Making a few hundred dollars on four bucks.